75% of y'all who are watching this video right now are likely not praying and I'm going to tell you the reasons why you're not doing it. Rise. What's going on everybody? It's your brother Jaya in the building. Let's go right into the five reasons why 75% of the population is not praying and let's just get into reason number one which is being intimidated by your own thoughts and your own perceptions. Many people that I've spoken to believe that they are either speaking to themselves, believe that their prayers are not excellent or bold, or they have to have all these fancy words or communicate with God in such a way, you got to render the heavens God or something like that. When prayer was designed for you to actually have conversation with your creator, let's go in with number two reasons of why 75% of the people don't pray is because a lack of faith that God is actually hearing y'all. If we're being honest with each other right now, about half of y'all hearing this video right now, when you pray, you feel as though God is not hearing you. You feel as though you're just talking to a ceiling or you're just talking to yourself. That's because you lack faith. See, if you put your trust in the person that you're talking to, that that person is actually hearing you, then it's more likely for you to want to continue to speak to said person. It's like this. Say I'm speaking to my wife. I know that my wife is going to listen to me and if I have any type of emotions or anything that I'm going throughout the day with, my wife is going to respond to me for said emotions. In the same way, God will hear your prayer when you come to him in faith and you believe that in his word is where you find your answer. So you must be able to pray and then go into his word so you can hear his answer. Let's get to number three, feeling unworthy. You feel like you're just a sinful, evil person and that you shouldn't be able to talk to a holy creator. And so therefore you just be quiet and hopefully one day God will show up in your living room. And it just doesn't work like that. All of us are unworthy from a holy perspective, but we have a holy God in heaven who truly loves us. And this is why he sent his son to die on the cross for you and me so we could have forgiveness of sins and relationship with God. So stop listening to the voice of Satan. He uses this tactic to keep you silent so that way you don't have power or victory. Number four, rules and regulations. Some of you think that you just got to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, that will be done over and over and over and over and over again and not actually communicate with the Father. Or some of y'all were raised in a place where you pray in, in beads and you pray to saints and you're so confused and do I wear a tie when I talk to God or do I have to, you know, cover my head all the time or what does God listen to these rules and regulations so it makes you, it ties into you feeling unworthy and intimidated and all these things which silences your mouth, which is the strategy of Satan to get you overthinking and overwhelmed. But that in fact is a lie. Reason number five, prayer is a conversation with God and it's not meant for you to be condemned. Number five means you don't go to prayer because you feel condemned for your guilty conscience. When in reality, you go to God so that way he can remove the guilty conscience because God knows we're all sinners. So 75% of y'all are missing out on one of the most important parts of you being a human being, which is conversating with your heavenly father who designed you and knows you and has a perfect plan for your life. Start to go into prayer. Start implementing these these five little strategies here and it will help your prayer life grow. I pray that this video has encouraged somebody out there and as always, God bless.